Hello everyone. Today let's see some different problems based on aquatic equation. A polynomial of the form ax square plus bx plus c is called aquatic polynomial where a, b, c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. If we equate the polynomial to a constant then it is called aquatic equation. Then a standard form of aquatic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This is the standard form where a is a coefficient of x square and b is the coefficient of x and c is a constant term and we call a as a quadratic coefficient also and b as a linear coefficient. We can solve a quadratic equation in many ways. One of the means is solution by its formula. This formula is also called as Schrieder's formula. x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Next is discriminant. The term b square minus 4ac is called discriminant of a quadratic equation. And this discriminant determines the nature of the roots. If it is greater than 0, then the roots will be real and distinct. If it is equal to 0, then the roots will be equal. If it is less than 0, then it has no real roots, but it's having a imaginary root. Then, formation of a quadratic equation. If alpha, beta are two roots of the equation, then that equation will be in this form. x square minus alpha plus beta plus alpha beta is equal to 0. Next thing is sum and product of root. If alpha, beta are two roots of a quadratic equation, then sum of the roots is equal to minus b by a, that is a coefficient of uh, x and coefficient of x square, and alpha into beta, that is product of two roots is equal to c by a, constant term by coefficient of x square. Now, let us solve some problems based on this. Solve x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. In this equation, a is 1, coefficient of x square, b is equal to minus 3, coefficient of x, and c is a constant term, that is minus 10. We solve this by splitting the middle term, that is minus 3x. We split this term, sum of the terms must be equal to the coefficient of x and product of this must be equal to pro product of the coefficient of x square and constant term, that is minus 10. ac is 1 into minus 10 and minus 10, we split this as minus y into 2. So that there sum is equal to the coefficient of x. Now in this we have x common. So x minus 5 plus in this 2 common x minus 5 is equal to 0. In these two terms we have x minus 5 as common. So x plus 2 is equal to 0. The product of these two terms is 0. Obviously each term will be equal to 0. Therefore x minus 5 is 0 and x plus 2 is 0. Therefore, x value is 5 and x value is minus 2. So, 5 and minus 2 are the roots of this equation. Next one, solve x square plus 2x minus 6. If we see here, we have 1 into minus 6 is minus 6 and the factors of minus 6 are minus 2, sorry, minus 3 and 2 or factors may be 1 and 6 or it may be minus 1 and 6 or 1 or minus 6 like that. But when you add these terms, you don't get the coefficient of x here. Because minus 3 and 2 is minus 1. But here it is 2. In this also, if you add, you get 5. But here the coefficient is 2. When you can't split the product of these two terms, you can use the formula. That is Ashridhar's formula x equal to minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Substitute the values of a, b, c and simplify it. Then by simplifying all this, we get minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 7. So 2 common and 2 gets cancelled. Therefore, minus 1 plus or minus root 7. 
सो वन विल बी अ प्लस वन माइनस वन प्लस रूट सेवन और माइनस वन माइनस रूट सेवन दीज टू आर द रूट ऑफ द गिवन इक्वेशन नेक्स्ट वन फाइंड द नेचर ऑफ द रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज वन एंड बी इज वन एंड सी इज ट्वेल्व सो द डिस्क्रिमिनेंट इज बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी बी वैल्यू इज वन वन स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इंटू वन इंटू ट्वेल्व सो वन माइनस फोर्टी एट दैट इज माइनस फोर्टी सेवन विच इज लेस दैन जीरो therefore this equation is not having any real roots that means it is having imaginary roots or complex roots next one divide 16 into two positive numbers such that twice the square of the larger part exceeds the square of the smaller part by 164 find the two numbers so we let's divide 16 into two parts a and b and let a be the larger part they are saying that twice of the square of the larger part that is twice of the square of the larger part is equal to square of the smaller part by 164 therefore the equation will be like this 2 into a square is equal to b square plus 164 now i will use the value of b from this equation b is equal to 16 minus a so that this equation will turn into a single variable variable of a so it will be 2a square is equal to apply a minus b whole square formula therefore 16 square is 256 plus b square is a square minus 2 into 16 into a is 32a plus 164 then By simplifying, we get a square plus thirty-two a minus four twenty is equal to zero, which is a quadratic equation. Now, let us solve this by splitting this variable. So, minus four twenty factors will be forty-two and minus ten, so that their sum will be equal to thirty-two. So. I split thirty-two a as forty-two a minus ten a minus four twenty is equal to zero. We have a common a into a plus forty-two minus ten into a plus forty-two is equal to zero. A plus forty-two is common, so a minus ten is zero. Therefore, the value of a is minus forty-two and ten. But they are saying that we are splitting sixteen into two positive numbers. therefore we are taking the only positive value of a therefore the value of a is 10 if a is 10 then if you, if a is 10 then the value of b will be 6 therefore the two numbers will be 10 and 6 next one find the values of k for which the quadratic equation 5x square minus 7x plus k is equal to 0 has real and distinct truth the criteria for real and distinct roots is the discriminant must be greater than 0 so let us consider this now we have the value of a is 5 b is minus 7 and c is k so substitute the values of b a c minus 7 whole square minus 4 into 5 into k must be greater than 0 therefore 7 square is 49 minus 4 into 5 is 20 k must be greater than 0 Therefore, forty-nine is greater than twenty into k. I reverse this equation. Therefore, twenty k is less than forty-nine, and k is less than forty-nine by twenty. That is, the value of k will be less than forty-nine by twenty. Next one, find the values of k for which the quadratic equation. 2x square minus k plus 2 into x plus k is equal to zero has real and equal roots. It is also the a same question as we solved before. Here we are equating the discriminant equal to zero because they are asking for the real and equal roots. Substitute the values of b, a, c here. Then we get an equation k square minus 4k plus 
4 is equal to 0. Then we solve this by splitting method. By solving, we get the value of k is 2. Therefore, for k equal to 2, this equation will be having equal and real roots. Next one, the sum of two numbers is 18 and the product of two numbers is 56. What are the numbers? Let us take two numbers b, x and y. Therefore, the sum of numbers will be 18 and product of those numbers is 56. What I will do is, I will take a value of y is equal to 18 minus x and substitute this value in this equation x into 18 minus x equal to 56 then it will turn into a quadratic equation x square minus 18x plus 56 equal to 0. Now by splitting method we can solve this equation easily. By splitting we get minus 4x minus 14x plus 56 equal to 0. By solving this we get the value of x is equal to 4 or x equal to 14. Therefore the numbers will be when x equal to 4, y is 14 and when x equal to 14, y is 4. Next one, the difference of the squares of the two consecutive even integers is 68. What are these numbers? Let us take the two even consecutive numbers as x and x plus 2. Then the difference of the squares of two consecutive even integers is 68, they are saying. So, x plus 2 whole square minus x square is equal to 68. Then, this is in the form a plus b whole square. So, a square plus b square plus 2ab minus x square is equal to 68. Then, x square and minus x square gets cancelled. So, 4, let us take 4 this side. Therefore, 4x is equal to 68 minus 4. That will be x equal to 64 minus by 4. So, 4 ones are 4 16 are. Therefore, you get the value of x as 16 and the next consecutive number is 18. x plus 2 is 18. Next one, the product of the ages of Sally and Joy now is 175 more than the product of their ages 5 years spare. If Sally is 20 years older than Joy, what are their current ages? Let us take the age of Sally as S and age of Joy as G. 5 years ago, their age will be S minus 5 and J minus 5. This will be a current age and this is 5 years ago. And they are given that the product of their ages now is 175 more than their ages 5 years prior. Therefore, the equation will be like this. Product of their present age is equal to 175 plus product of their ages before 5 years. And it is also given that Sally's age is 20 more than Joy. Now I will solve like this. Let us consider this equation. S into J, S into J is equal to 175 plus. Let us multiply this. S into J is S into J minus s into 5 is 5s minus 5 into j is minus 5j plus 5 into 5 25. Minus into minus will be plus and 5 into 5 is 25. Now, if you see s into j and s into j gets cancelled and 175 plus 25 will be 200. Let us take these two terms to left side. Now, in this we have 5 common and I am replacing the value of s by 20 plus j plus 5j is equal to 200. Now 5 into 20 is 100 plus 5 into j is 5j plus 5j is equal to 200. Take this 100 to this side therefore 200 minus 100 will be 100 and 5 plus 5j plus 5j is 10j. So 10j is equal to 100 and j is equal to 100 and by 10 this will be 10. 100 by 10 is 10. So, J's value is 10 years, present age. And it is given Sally's age is 20 more than Joy's. Therefore, 20 plus J. 
therefore the age of sally is 30 years next one find the length and width of a rectangle whose length is 5 cm long than its width and whose area is 50 cm square they have given the width and length is 5 cm longer than width therefore let us take the length as width plus 5 cm now we know that area of a rectangle is length into width area is given as 50 is equal to let us take the length as w plus 5 into width as w now we have 50 is equal to w into w will be w square plus 5 into w will be 5w now we get a quadratic equation w square plus 5w minus 50 is equal to 0 by splitting method we can solve this easily then we get the value of w as 5 and minus 10 but we are taking only 5 since the length will be always positive therefore width is 5 cm and the length is w plus 5 that is 5 plus 5 10 therefore it is 5 cm and 10 cm